Yo, what's up folks, this is Sean. Welcome back to the vlog and I'm here in what I would like to call my backyard here in Download Beach, California after spending time with my family. Uh, I just got back in and I decided to you know, pay a visit to a friend of mine uh, last night who um, you know, who runs you know, a couple of events at his own, own house and I caught the tail end of it and we basically spent just a couple of hours talking about you know, games and you know, the scene and all of that good stuff. And one blog post really came to our attention that you know, pretty much took over the whole conversation. And that was a blog post by Mike Watson, who is uh, uh, the head of uh, Super Arcade. And basically when I read that blog post, it pretty much made my heart drop. Basically what's happening is, well, I'll give you the TLDR. Um, Mike Watson's been sacrificing a lot of his own money in order to keep the arcade alive as a labor of love for the community that has really been a fan of arcades. Since there aren't that many to go around. Now, this beacon of, of video game content, um, you know, for the West Coast, I mean, they've been doing a lot to, you know, uh, for the community. They've had several tournaments that happen every week. Uh, some for Street Fighter, some for Ultimate Marvel, some for KOF, some for other anime type fighting games like Blaze Blue and, and, and Guilty Gear. Even Super Smash Brothers, all throughout the week, um, it's the this place has been going above and beyond in order to get people in the door and yet those efforts have not been really paying off um, and it seems that the, the arcade is once again on its last legs and it's in danger of closing its doors for good. There's going to be an event that's going to be taking place in January 4th uh, which is not really to uh, support the arcade per se but is to help out uh, families of the people, uh, you know, families of, uh, of a member of fighting game community who have recently lost his life, and that those proceeds are going to uh, go towards his funeral uh, funeral costs. But basically, I think that this event that they're going to, uh, that they're going to be having is going to be Super Arcade's last hurrah, and I don't really want that to be the case. So basically, what I'm going to be doing is going out of my way, going to try make that 40 mile trek, go back out to Super Arcade and check out. Um, the tournaments for Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 and Marvel vs. Capcom 2. And uh, I'm going to be participating in one of those games, and I invite you to do the same. You know, visit us at Super Arcade in Walnut, California. Uh, address is going to be in the description as well. And don't forget to check out the blog post and get all the details of what's been going down because it's definitely worth a read. Uh, it's sad to see such an arcade that's been doing so much in order to keep its doors open, yet it's still not enough because not even the industry, it, um, not even its industry, the video game industry, supports such an establishment that is for video games exclusively, and that's sad. And I'm planning on making a video about that in, uh, in the future, but for now, I just simply want to see you at Super Arcade, January 4th, 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. At least check out the streams. Check out the Level Up Live or IE Battlegrounds. Uh, they may be uh, they may be holding the stream the live streams. Uh, until then, this is Sean. Stay classy. I'll see you at the arcade.